I'm Jeff Alpin, The Big Game Hunter, and people hire me for no BS career advice. I spotted an article that talked about a shift in how people are looking at jobs, and they're now looking for stable jobs. I'm not sure that they were ever not looking for a degree of stability, but this article made it seem like statistics were showing that in the past, people weren't looking at that uh, as much as they are now. So let me first start off by defining what a stable job is. And one definition I saw that made sense to me was a stable job refers to a position that employees can keep for long periods of time. For an example, an individual can work for the same company for decades or maintain a career in a stable field for many years. These jobs may also offer stability to employees in other ways, such as consistent working hours and salaries. Nice definition. And let's work with that as the example of the stable job. And if you have a different one, by all means, put it in, uh, message me with it, and uh, I'll respond to you to talk with you about it. The problem with this, with a stable job, it's the definition of a full-time position, not a permanent position because there are no permanent positions. It's a stable job. It's a full-time one. It occupies all your time. The problem is you have no way of evaluating whether it's really stable. You think you do, because often one of the shortcuts that people use is big company. Unfortunately, big companies are often the first firms to lay off and huge numbers of people. Why? Because as business suffers, they have no loyalty to their staff. And there are exceptions to this, but most don't conduct themselves that way. They look out for their own interests, the interests of the shareholders, as they rightly should. Now, going the extra mile, how does that affect you? You've kidded yourself into believing that this is a stable position. What really generates stability are the skills that you have and the experience that you pick up from an organization. Is it going to be marketable to another firm afterwards? After all, you need to think about turnover, changing jobs. Nothing is going to allow you to stay at one organization for 10 or 20 years, nor will you want to stay at an organization for 10 or 20 years unless you're prepared to zone out mentally, because that's often the way people do it. They start, shall we say, losing their minds, <laughs> becoming dull, uh, and there's no, they lose the ambition. So don't think in terms of large companies as being stable. Think in terms of what skills you bring to the marketplace that you can enhance while working at a firm so that this way, if they make a business decision, you're not adversely affected. And in fact, what you're doing is recession-proofing your career. Hope you found this helpful. I'm Jeff Altman. Again, people hire me for no BS career advice. And you can find out more and schedule time for a free discovery call to evaluate me for coaching uh, at my website, thebiggamehunter.us. And you can also schedule time for a paid coaching session there, is too, there too. You can also find out about my courses, books, and guides. Again, a lot there to help you. Also, Connect with me on LinkedIn at linkedin.com forward slash IN forward slash The Big Game Hunter. Have a terrific day and be great.